Hi, and welcome to another Cigar Box Guitar Blue Shot. Uh, I'm Sean from Cody Guitar, and uh, in this one, this is the fourth of a series of five looking at using um, a slide, just like short little um, technique exercises which uh, um, just help in with either like sort of physical, technical elements or maybe sort of musical um, things to, to help improve your playing, particularly if you're sort of beginner or intermediate level, you know, you, you feel like you've still got plenty of things that you can learn. Um, so in this one, what we're doing is we're looking at the difference between um, straight and swung or sort of blues shuffle uh, rhythms. So we're going to play um, the same riff but we're going to play it with a straight feel, which uh, has more of a sort of driving um, uh, sound where the, the notes um, are even, evenly spaced. Uh, and then we'll just switch it and we'll play with a, a blues shuffle, a swung feel, where um, there's a slightly more kind of uneven, uh, slightly more of a gentle lilt to it. Um, so just before we get into that, let's just check if we are in tune. So there's low G. There's middle D and there's high G. Okay, so uh, in this particular riff, uh, what we're doing is um, we're, we're going to be playing the the melody notes um, kind of in between. So the thumb, we're just thumping away as with like all of this, uh, just thumping away on the beat, just keeping like the one, two three, four going, and the, the melody notes are kind of playing in between, just so we're emphasising the, the offbeat notes, because it's actually the offbeat notes which change when you go from a uh, straight driving rhythm to a swung um, bluesy shuffle rhythm. Um, so if you're just tapping your foot, um, if you're listening to music, um, so your thumb is basically acting uh, as, as like our drummer really. It's just where you tap your foot on the beat and um, the notes in between, if we play notes in between the thumb notes that are on the beat, uh, we'll call those notes off beats in between. So my fingers are just, I'll slow it down a bit, my fingers are just playing in between and at the minute I'm playing a straight rhythm because it's like da, 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 da. so my fingers are exactly halfway in between the thumb notes now my thumb is still playing at the same speed there but I've changed what my fingers are doing and they are now later I'm delaying um, moving in with my uh, fingers so it gives you more of a gentle um, shuffle more of a you can think of it as a bit of a sort of horse trot it's slightly it's uneven basically it is a long short long okay so that's just a very 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 quick explanation of what a uh, shuffle rhythms like but uh, we'll do that with the riff when we've learnt it so um, <clears throat> just leaving out the thumb for a minute what we'll do is we'll dive straight in and just play the uh, finger notes and uh, uh, the slide is just on the, the high G so uh, as, as with the other couple that we've looked at uh, just angled slightly um, because I, I don't, I don't want to play either of the D or the low G strings uh, with the slide so I'm um, starting on 7 down to 5 3 to 4 so seven, I can, I can do a little slide down there. I'm gonna re-pick fret five, but I can slide in between them. And then three to four, I can slide in between those, but I'm, I'm re-picking every single note. So seven, five, three, four. Then after that, it's two, open, three, four. So all of that is seven, five, three, four, two, open, three, four. Now, rhythmically, most of those notes are in between the thumb notes, so they're what you call offbeat notes. Uh, playing this straight to start with. Um, so. There's a pull at the beginning on fret seven, so that's on the beat because it's with the thumb, but straight away fret five isn't. Fret five's before the next thumb note, so it's seven, five, thumb, and then three, 
and four uh, in between the thumb notes. So it's seven, five in between, three, four in between. Or if I was to just talk about whether they were on or off the beat, it would sound like this. On, off, off, off. So we've got seven, five, thumb, three, thumb, four, thumb. Uh, just to fill the bar out, um, I could actually pluck with my index finger on uh, string one here, just, just the open D. So I've got seven, five, three, four, open D. I'll do that one more time. Three, four, and seven, five, three, four, open D. And then what uh, we're exactly mimicking, copying that exact rhythm um, for the second um, bar, but it's uh, different frets. So we've got um, two, open, three, four, and then we can play the open D again. So fret two is with your thumb, and then the open G straight afterwards is not. So another thumb, three, thumb, four, thumb, and then open D afterwards. So that would be three, four, it would be two, open, thumb, three, four, open D. One more time, three, four, so it's two, open, thumb, three, four, open D. So we're going three, four, we're going seven, five, three, four, open D, fret two, open, three, four, open, start again, seven, five, three, four, open D, fret two, open, One more time, three, four, seven, five, three, four, open, two, open, three, four. Okay, so uh, this, this is getting a little bit more complicated. Um, you might find this slightly harder than um, certainly the first two um, lessons that we did in these blues shorts. So uh, don't worry too much about exactly which um, picking hand fingers you're using here. Because um, if, you, if you try and think about like five or six things at the same time when you're learning something, uh, it's an absolute nightmare basically. Um, if you haven't been playing for very long, uh, it's only when you're really kind of in control of um, what both hands are doing. It's just experience. If you're used to playing, if you've been playing for quite a long time, um, you, you just start picking and, and you, you can just drop into different patterns. If it doesn't feel completely natural, uh, you don't want to be thinking, oh God, I need to use that combination and then middle and then index. Just play the correct notes in sequence, uh, play it in time, and um, you can you can potentially like sort of like set a, a picking pattern afterwards. But because there's there's a bit of space in between the the notes that we're playing with our fingers, it's not so important um, exactly what combination. I think I'm probably mixing it up a little bit. What, what what combination we use our fingers in? The main thing is to get the rhythmical feel correct. Um, but once we've done that, once you can play that, we can just add a slight bit of variation at the end where we're going 10, 7, 10, 12. So that's together on fret 10, 7 in between, 10 in between, 12 in between. So it's together, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. So I would, uh, instead of going down to fret 2 here, I'm going to go up to fret 10. So I'm going to start in the same place on fret 7. It's like this, 3, 
four, seven, five, three, four, open, ten, seven, ten, twelve. So that's the second half, so I'll do that one more time. So three, four, seven, five, three, four, open, ten, seven, ten, twelve. Okay, so this is all straight, and so as we were saying, all of those notes in between, they've got to try and be exactly in between the thumb, which is hopefully keeping that steady sort of constant rhythm. So we'll put all that together. We're going to drop down to fret two as like the first ending, straight up, uh, start again, fret seven, and then straight up to fret ten for the second ending. Okay, so three, four, so seven, five, three. Open, fret two, open, three, four, start again, seven, five, three, four, open, ten, seven, ten, twelve, start again, seven, five, three, four, open, two, open, three, four, seven, five, three, four. And a uh, tiny bit faster once you got used to it. Uh, it might sound something like this. So two, three, four. Right, exactly the same notes. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're just going to delay every single offbeat, okay? Um, and <clears throat> what actually happens is with a, with a swung rhythm, um, it's actually a triplet rhythm. It's like three notes. Um, so if, if we're dividing, if we're putting the half beat notes exactly in between the two bass notes, that's dividing it exactly into two. So it's like one and two and three, okay? But if it's a triplet rhythm, uh, there's the first one and then there's an extra two afterwards like one two three one two three one two three one two three but in order to get the blues shuffle uh, we don't put all of those in if we if we count the, the three notes so we're dividing the beat into one two three one two three one two three we will then um, miss out the middle one <clears throat> and we'll go one two three one two three one two three, one, two, three, and that's where you get the swung shuffle from. So the first note, which is basically going to be uh, the thumb on the beat most of the time, and uh, like the finger occasionally as well, uh, is longer, and then the note that we pluck with our fingers uh, are going to be shorter, they're going to be much closer to the next beat that we play with our thumb. So it might be like this. <clears throat> One, two, it might be like, oh, so I'm going to play on the beat and then one, two, three. So we've got long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Okay, so uh, translating that um, into uh, what we're doing with our riff. Um, it's probably going to be easiest if, if you uh, literally just like try and play along, uh, maybe listen first time um, and then copy, you know, just, just literally like match up. Uh, it, it's very much a groove, it's like a repeated rhythmical pattern um, and, and so you, you want to try and sort of slot into that and just keep it solid, that, that rhythmical feel all the way through because uh, so many blues songs, uh, I've, I've said in one of the earlier shorts that, you know, um, one of the main characters of blues is it has a really good sort of solid driving rhythm to it, whatever speed it's played at um, and, and a lot of the time it's got this swung blues shuffle to it. So um, if you can just keep that as solid, as consistent as possible, uh, it will just make all of your playing sound loads better. So um, listen, join in. I'll go around it a few times. So two, three, four.
Okay, and then once you've got that, if you went a little bit faster, <clears throat> you get a really nice groove to it. So, two, three, four. So um, <clears throat> probably quite quite tricky. Um, just to um, it, it can be quite difficult to hear the difference. Um, it is very much a feel thing, you know. So I'd probably go around both the straight and the swung versions a, a few times, and um, just uh, hope hopefully that the more that you do, uh, that the, the more that it will start to make sense. How you're delaying plucking uh, with your fingers uh, and, and the off beats in between what your thumb's doing. Uh, so. Yeah, I hope that was useful. And uh, there's a final um, blues short um, coming up in a few days' time um, where we're going to be just combining a, a few of these different elements that we've been looking at um, and also looking at sort of angling in so that... so that we can actually um, play slide uh, fretted notes with the slide um, on the middle string but like not catch um, string one, just, just so that we've got a little bit more versatility. So like sounds like that um, and uh, if you like this content uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll be dropping loads more uh, throughout this year so uh, we'll look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coda Guitar.